Monday night, and I'm really excited because Wednesday morning I leave for Thailand. Now, between now and then, I won't have time to do any video or anything like that. So I, I'm in stress mode. I'm in, I'm in stress mode, but I'm not going to get all dramatic like a Facebook drama video. But I'm in stress mode. It's normal. You know, you got this international flight, and you got to be at a certain place at a certain time. Newark Airport is the place. And Wednesday morning is the time, and you're being like sucked like water down a funnel to that point in time. You can't stop it at this point. And you got all this stuff that you have to do. You got stuff that you got to take care of. My wife is not here. I'm here by myself, so I'm running around doing all this crazy stuff. And I'll talk about some of the crazy stuff in a minute. But I wanted to make the video post about something that happened to me today. Uh, I had to connect with the TSA. And I'll talk about that in a minute, but to kind of set up, everybody's heard the story, and I know it's like dragging out the dead horse and beating it again. But in 2014, I was detained by the Japanese police at Tokyo Airport, Narita, for having lithium batteries in my luggage. And when I say detained, I mean like uh, they called my name. And just before the pl flight was ready to go off, they called my name after sitting there for two hours, which they could have done it then. Call my name in perfectly clear English, which normally in the Japanese airport, it's hard to find anybody that works here that speaks really clear English. And I go up, and while I went up there, three police officers came up from behind me and physically, and I'm a big guy, physically, not, not uh, brute force, but forcefully grabbed me by my arms and took me away to a room. And they didn't hurt me or anything, and they were nice, but maybe because I'm a big guy, they were a little forceful, and uh, they held me in place. They never really took their hands off me almost the whole time, and they brought my luggage in, which they had already pre-destroyed, and opened it up, and they pulled out the lithium batteries, and I had lithium batteries for flashes, but... I also had a cordless drill, don't ask why, but I had a brand new DeWalt cordless drill that I was taking to Thailand, and that had lithium batteries. And in the end, in a nutshell, the whole thing was stupid because you weren't allowed to put lithium batteries in checked baggage that goes underneath the plane, according to them, but you can carry lithium batteries with you in your carry-on, okay? I didn't know that. I didn't know anything that I wasn't supposed to have the lithium, and I guess that was my fault, but... Then, instead of giving me the lithium batteries to take with me on the plane, they put everything back in the luggage and taped it up with shipping tape and put it back in the plane. It, it just literally, Japanese customs or whatever they were, security, stupid, stupid, stupid people. Okay, so I wanted to contact the TSA. No, I'm not taking lithium batteries this time. I, I will be taking some lithium for my this thing, my... GPS beacon thing that I have with me just in case of an emergency and in case I end up on like you know uh, Asian air flight out in the Indian Ocean and I'm sinking I can I've carried this thing with me everywhere it's called actually called spot it's, there, I'm fine there. it's spot okay I've had this thing since 2009 works great also sends messages and things like that but you can use it to get rescued if you're in some dire need somewhere in the world. So I will have lithium batteries for that. But I contact, I needed to contact the TSA about regular rechargeables. I know that you can take them, but is there a limit to how many you can take? Because I like to take a lot of rechargeables. And I go to the website and it's just, it's so, like who the hell has time for that? You just want to ask somebody a question. Can't you just pick a phone up like the old days? And But no, then how are you going to call the TSA? voice prompts and anyway Twitter Twitter is amazing and I go to the website and I see they have a Twitter account I I go on and I send a direct message on Twitter and amazingly in I would say less I didn't look at the exact time but less than an hour they came back to me they were very cordial in the reply and also sent me a link because when I went to the website, all I seen was batteries for blasting caps. Like, who the fuck is taking blasting caps? I don't... Anyway, here I'm getting frustrated because I'm in stress mode. So anyway, I got my answer. I got my reply. And I also, I also replied then with a couple more questions about camera gear. And I'm not going to go into that. But either way, if you need to contact the TSA or any government agency... I know New Jersey State Police is the same way. You can contact them through Twitter. 
um, not for emergencies, but like if you want, if you have questions or something, you need to ask the state police. Twitter, I'm telling you, it's amazing. So meanwhile, I'm running around doing all this stuff that's putting me in stress mode. And one of the things that I wanted to talk about real quick was uh, going to the bank. Like, I, I need to get clean, I need to take dirty money, change it in for clean money, so that I can get a good exchange rate in Thailand for the clean money. Because in Thailand, if you have dirty money, like it's got a rip, a tear, a little ink, somebody wrote, you know, uh, I seen God on the money, which I seen one time, like they want to give you uh, less of an exchange rate, okay? So you go to the bank here and they want to sell you traveler's checks and of course they got fees on them and everything. No, I just want to change the money. And the lady keeps handing me more dirty money. And I'm going around, and after a while, I just want to grab her by the back of the head and slam her freaking head into the counter. And I, I, you can see why I get in distress mode. So um, I got through that, but I didn't get all the money changed that I want. I don't have thousands of dollars, but I just needed to change my 20s and 50s and dirty hundreds into clean new $100 bills. And it looks like I'm going to end up probably going to like three or four banks to get it done. Meanwhile, there's all the other little crazy stuff, but that's... Life getting ready to go to Thailand. So tomorrow I'll probably, and I don't normally eat cheeseburgers all the time, but because I'll be in Thailand for a long time, uh, what I always do is I eat a cheeseburger for lunch the day before I go. Um, just one. And they're not even French fries or anything like that. I just eat a cheeseburger. <laughs> cheeseburger and usually a bottle of water I have just as a, a sending off meal, so to speak. So anyway... That's it. That's my blog post for today. And you probably won't see another post from me until I get over to Thailand. And if you notice that this post had uh, some new graphics at the beginning and the end, I made some graphics up just for my Thailand video. And my camera's working good. My microphone is working good for the people that asked me questions. I had three or four people asking me questions about the new microphone. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's all I can say about it so far hasn't done anything to me, hasn't broken down, doesn't crackle, it's great. Okay, everybody, peace out. Check me out on Instagram, check me out on Facebook, and I may, I've been on Twitter, and I think I'll start using Twitter some more often now. So anyway, you'll probably see some posts as soon as I get to Thailand.